This is my good friend Eliu. He's a self-made entrepreneur who's managed to start and run multiple businesses in one of the most varied and interesting countries in the world, Lebanon. For Eliu, life is all about doing what he loves. To earn a living, he takes people on adventurous tours throughout Lebanon. He's a ski instructor, a water tank cleaner, a plumber, an agriculturalist. And given that he does all of those amazing things, I couldn't imagine that he would have the time or the energy to pursue an off-grid lifestyle at home. From raising bees, chickens, and goats, to making his own wine from the grapes he grows on his rooftops. In this video, we'll take a look into the life of someone well on his way to reaching his goal of being 70 to 80% self-sufficient. Today, we are going to check out his house, which is actually where I'm at right now. We've got Roxy right here. Meet Roxy. Hi. Hi. Hi, Roxy. They're so excited to meet you. They're so excited to meet you. Roxy keeps guard over the property. And this is Elio himself. I have a gun. You have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> what a way to start off this video. <laughs> so, uh, I was uh, saying a snack. Mm. Okay, but uh, she's not... Uh, she's not... Uh, how can she eat? Okay, great. So uh, she's uh, she's not poison. So I let her go. Who? A snack. A snack? Yeah. A What's that? It was uh, behind. A snake. A snake. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like a snack, no, 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 like you it know. It was a snake. Oh so, wow. Uh, she's not poison. Okay. Uh, I let her go because. Um, She's harmless. Yeah, she's okay. But you were gonna shoot her potentially? No, if 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 she, if she was, was poisonous. Yeah. Oh. Because uh, you know I have uh, dogs, dogs, cats, cats. and. Uh... Do you have <laughs> any poisonous snakes here? Like yeah, we have, we have, but uh, uh, we can't find it uh, in in places where we live. Okay. You can't find them in the forest and the wild. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that uh, everything was good. It's good. It's perfect. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Do you know where Valentine is? Yeah. Where? Follow me. Who's that? So. so Valentine was there. Hi, Prinsu. And this is uh, Bella. Pinza. Did you know uh, with him here a snake? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Valentine attracts snakes, I think. Yeah. So, Elio, yeah. is breakfast ready? Uh, yeah. So, we'll do a tour of the uh, property later. Right now, we're going to have some breakfast. So, Elio lives... Um, I don't know if this would be considered the Shuf area. Would you consider no, this the, the Shuf? Kesser one area. This is Keserwan? Yeah, this is the Keserwan. But basically he lives in the mountains, uh, just a little bit north of Beirut. And it's a green, beautiful, lush yeah. area. Yeah. It's very green. Super green. <laughs> hey, uh, what were you guys like? Your mom was like, ah, oh, but haram! Like, <laughs> I wonder what you guys were talking about. Yeah. You're Did you do something haram? <laughs> he Did was he? walking without uh, shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, come. It, the walking without shoes would require at least... Yeah, it's a little bit. 
So this is Eliu's mom. <laughs> so uh, you want to do eggs or? Uh... Yeah, let's do eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Ella. I was getting the food. <laughs> Obviously, the case is reusable. Of course. Because he doesn't get it from the store. Yeah. <laughs> So where do these eggs come from, Eli? From uh, my farm. From, from the, visit, the visit, chickens yeah. right outside, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will visit the farm. So. So. Uh, So Elio, you eat them like this, uh, yeah. a little bit like under, like undone. Yes. Because they come, they come from your chickens, it's, and it's uh, all it natural. It comes from my farm, and uh, I know uh, what I'm uh, giving them to eat. So I trust what I'm eating. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. So, did you put uh, the stuff here? Look, we will gonna sit uh, outside. Outside. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Take this. <laughs> okay. I'll take another one. Here, I I know where we're going, so I can All right, lead, lead the, the way. way. Yeah. We're gonna sit outside. Oh, this little. It's a cute little area. How many houses does this house have? <laughs> Look at this. And you have a mountain view from mountain here. View. Yeah. I think Valentine likes Elu's house. I do. So we're gonna bring some uh, uh, time. Okay, okay, yeah, time. time. Zatar? Zatar, time. Zatar is time, right? Yeah. You have to smell this kind of... I have to smell? Flower. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's a gardenia. Wow. Yeah. It has such a soft and sweet smell. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful. So right now, I'm gonna have some zatar on our garden. And it can is it wild zata or uh, did you yeah, plant it's, it? Yeah, uh, it's wild, but uh, I planted here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have some nana on our plants. Is that parsley or uh, no, mint? It's, uh, mint. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Here it is. So the zatar and the mint. Yeah. So this we'll, is the zatar. And this and is the, the mint. bigger leaves are the mint. <laughs> we will wash them. Okay. And eat them. So I have. It's like a jasmine or something. Looks perfect. Yeah. I'm super done.
So this tea is made from wild herbs, of which I've probably never heard before. And it's a very interesting like smell and taste. It's very aromatic. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it came back with an onion. <laughs> so we would cut it? Yeah, down. Like this. And it's oh, ready. It looks so clean. Yeah. You can eat it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we've got Elio's bees honey right here. This is the winter spring honey. You can see it's lighter in color. And this is the um, summer. Summer. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it's darker. Oh, wow. It's really good. <laughs> it has like a maple leaf flavor yeah. to it. It's delicious. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do right now, it's uh, the compost part. Okay. So I throw everything that uh, they will not uh, feed the the chickens and the goat here, and it will be a for a the earth tube or compost. Okay, and <laughs> the, uh, next year mm -hmm. I will take the soil the soil and put it uh, for planting or. Ah, oh, I mean, yeah, it'll be really good, yeah. very fertile. Yes, so this is good for. Okay, and we'll take this to the chickens. So this is e like everything, even the eggshells they can eat? Uh, yeah, yeah. They oh, can. okay. So uh, they eat their own eggshells? Uh, yeah, but I have to mash them. Before. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's why uh, I, separ I, I put them... You separate uh, them, I yeah. separate them. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Look at this delicious plate of food <laughs> for our chickens and goats. So, come. Let's go. We'll take this What's that? Ice. This is the parsley. Oh, parsley. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So the chicken coop is inside of your garage? Yeah. Oh, no, outside. It's outside, but... It's inside also. You will see. I see. So you will hear Shiva right now. Shiva's the goat. Yeah. Shiva. Shiva. Chiva. Oh, Chiva. Chiva. Hi. Did you look how, how you, she, she do? It's, she's happy. Oh, she's wagging her tail. She's happy. Oh, so cute. Chiva. Chiva. She doesn't know me. She's not wagging her tail. <laughs> She's scared. Look here, we have pigeons. Oh. And here we have the chickens. Hi, chickens. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, we will put some some food together. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my <laughs> They're like jump they're jumping out of the coop. They're so excited. <laughs> You see, we don't throw anything in the garbage. Uh uh. We give them everything. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> So Eliu's like whole philosophy is being like very sustainable and like uh, you know not not uh, creating any waste. He's very eco-friendly. Right, Eliu, your uh, philosophy is to like not waste anything if yeah. you can. Yeah, you, uh, the first thing that you can be helping the the earth. Yeah. Okay, and the, the other thing it's you can be uh, own satisfied. So when you do this kind of thing, it feels good. Yeah, it yeah. feels so good. <laughs> what well, I thought goats eat anything now, yeah. but the dog is eating it. <laughs> they didn't want it. Yeah. Well, These okay. are the most picky goats I've ever seen. <laughs> Come here. See. Can uh, take eggs if you want. So the eggs are in here inside the pen and I got one Oof. stole one of their eggs while they're all still out there <laughs> he's like still out here eating the food the pigeons yeah are they doves uh, are, they are they doves? Yeah. They're doves, right? Yeah. Not pigeons. Fresh egg. Straight out the chicken. And this is the egg of the pigeons. Oh, the doves. Oh, it's so small compared to the chicken egg. Wow. Do you eat this one too? No. No. What do you do with it? Uh, I, I let her uh, hatch make, it. Make babies from uh, oh. from this kind of. Uh, That's so cool. Yeah. So you'll have a baby dove soon. Yeah. That's so yeah. exciting. <laughs> and here I have baby chickens. <laughs> oh, so cute! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh, he's so scared. Hey, that's it. <laughs> wow. What are you gonna do with all of these chickens? Well, uh, just put them uh, in, in. With uh, with the rest. With, with the rest. Ah. Okay. <laughs> the goats. Like, the goats oh. are biting Valentine's shirt. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's like leaves. <laughs> Yeah, we, we have to go with Chiva. Uh, walking, right? Walking, yeah. <laughs> Roxy, go back. Roxy, go Roxy. Back. Back. Roxy. Roxy. Back. Roxy. Back. Roxy. Roxy. Is, is it because Roxy's gonna hunt? Yeah. Hunt no hunting. Keep him Roxy. Roxy, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> what about that one? Uh, it's okay. He can fly, fly and uh, come back. We will put some water. Oh, he flew. Yeah. What are you washing off? Uh, the water. I, I put some water oh, for okay. that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> Okay. 
So they drink from that little like part at the bottom. <laughs> Are you ready to go with Chiva? I'm ready. Chiva. She likes to eat everything. Ah, okay. She's like Bella. Yeah. <laughs> you give her and she wants more. Yeah, Chiva. 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 Both of them? Or one? Well, this one's Chiva with the horns. Chiva. Chiva, yeah, let's go. Chiva, yalla. Yalla. Chiva. So we're gonna walk Chiva and the other goat into the forest, which I think is technically still Eliu's property. This is all still your property, right? And uh, it's not exactly a hike, but it's like walking the dog, you know? We walk the goats. To feed them. Yeah. They, just, they have no problems with the rocks. Look at them. Nope. <laughs> They're so jumpy. Oh my gosh. And they drop po poop. Like, their poop is so pellety. Like, lots of small pellets. <clears throat> I wonder if I stepped in any. I don't think it would be very bad. I hope not. They're dry. They're dry? Yeah. They're they come dry out dry? Right. It's not like you would have steps in dog poop. It's just... So this is kind of like shepherding. Or like something similar, I guess. I don't know. What? It's like shepherding your goats. Yeah, yeah. So we come here every day with Roxy. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she must be with us. <laughs> she can't be left out. <laughs> no. Shiva? <laughs> no. She's so happy. Okay, and you can go down and see the mountain or you can go there and see the mountain. It has a great mountain. So you take them out every day? Yeah. Do you usually take them out in the morning? Uh, yeah, if I have time, yeah. Like, what if you have work? Do you take I, them out I in the... I have someone who takes care uh, of them. Oh, okay. He's a small boy. And uh, he, he, he wants to, to get money. Yeah. And he comes and he works and he Is he local? Uh, no, he's uh, Syrian. Okay. The tail wag. <laughs> this is the mountain here. Wow. This is Matin. We are here in Kiserwan. Yeah. And uh, at the bottom we have a river called uh, the river of Wede Salib. Wede the, Salib. Yeah, the, the valley of the, uh, the cross. You got damn it. <laughs> I will pick you up. Dire, dire. Yeah, because they want to like beep. Uh. <laughs> goats. The goats got attitude. 
Uh, what's the name of the other uh, ghost? Muzi. 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 Shiva and Muzi. Uh, they're, they're both yours, right? No, Muzi. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Muzi! <laughs> so for as interesting of a like work life you have yeah. you also have quite the home life mm -hmm. if you want with with uh, my animals yeah that i like <laughs> you have a lot of responsibilities with all yeah, of these animals a lot. <laughs> i guess you like responsibility i'm uh I like responsibility, but uh, I was obliged to, to, to be responsible, mm -hmm. you know, in my life. But I like what I'm doing. That's the most important thing. Eddie, <laughs> hey, yeah. I have a question for you. Yeah. Would you uh, ever slaughter? Shia for meat? No. <laughs> no. No, she no. will she will give uh, us babies and milk. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, but no not milk. I, I like her. Uh-huh. So I want her to, to come big and uh, to, to be uh, an, adult. Uh, an adult, yeah. So when I, uh, the first time I, I've met her, I, I know that uh, I will love her. So that's why uh, I, I got it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So he's like a member of your family. Yeah, yeah. So here we're gonna go from here. I like this place. When you sit here, you will feel the, the fresh air. Mm. Oh yeah. It's so relaxing. Can sit here. You coming? And Shiva gonna play. <laughs> so you said yesterday your goal is to be like 70, 80 percent self sufficient, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be 100 percent. Because then you're just cut off yeah. from like everybody else. No, no, I don't want to cut off. I, I want to, to, to be like a. Connected. Connected yeah. with people. With your food. Yeah. With like uh, other beings. Yeah, right? I, I want to know uh, what I'm eating and from where uh, uh, it, it comes. And from, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and when you have a relation with your uh, uh, goat and your chickens, you will have uh, a, pr a good product. Makes sense. Yeah. You don't know uh, the other uh, farms, what they are doing with uh, their cows and their... Uh, yeah, so we're in love. <laughs> so uh, she will give me the perfect uh, kind of, uh, uh, of milk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. earlier babe you didn't see this but like the goats like he was elio was offering them like bread mm -hmm. you know and they were being so picky it was like the weirdest thing i was like they're goats <laughs> like i thought they ate anything <laughs> these, are, these, are, these ones are spoiled yeah seriously and shiva likes the carrot <laughs> So you make molasses from these things? Yeah. Oh. Can you eat the carob? Yeah, okay. Look, look. You want to eat a carob? You can eat this. Shiva. It's a carob. 
But you, we can't eat it when they're uh, green like no, that, right? Uh, just like this. It's uh, the taste. Uh, it's not very good. Good, yeah. So I'm gonna try the carob. Do I eat it just like this? Yeah. You have to mash it, and you will feel the sugar. Oh yeah. Hey. Um. Excuse me. Hmm. Wow. It's so sweet. Yeah. And there's seeds inside. Looks like this. Really interesting flavor. These are the seeds. I like it. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. So we're putting the goats back in the uh, back in their pen. They are going to be so sad to be ending their walk. Nice to meet you. 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 Hi, Chiva. Okay. Bye. You will hear right now. Look, she opened the door. <laughs> We're, so done. We're done. We're done, Shiva. 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 Oh, here comes. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> we walked the goats. That was the best nap ever. <laughs> you took a nap? Yeah. <laughs> With the goats. With the goats. Yeah, like, come. We will see right now the winery. Yeah, show us. All right. You will help me right now. One time. Oh, I can't wait to help you drink the wine. <laughs> So this is Eliu's like garage, I guess. It's kind of like his workshop. And uh, he has multiple projects that he runs out of here. Yeah, here. Uh, the wood part is here. I make things. So when I, I want to make a new thing, I come here. Uh, if it's wood, I come to this section. Mm -hmm. If it's metal, Look at all this wood. Yeah. yeah, wait, let me show the wood. And if it's metal, <laughs> I come here. <laughs> I wow. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. He's a handyman, mm -hmm. right, Elio? What was the last thing that you made? Out of uh, metal. Look like this. I made this one. It's a stove. You put the the wood here, mm. okay, and you will have uh, the fire here, and you can put this thing like this, 
and you can do a barbecue or you can remove this and put this one and you can have a grill like the grill a, oh. is there i will see you the grill wait up oh. <laughs> look at this so it's kind of like an amplifier yeah you just, it just kind of really directs the fire up here so this would be the grill <laughs> You can just put meat yeah. or bread or whatever you want on top can of this. Can take it for a camping? Oh. Yeah, because it's small. <laughs> it's not very big. Very cool. When did you make this? Uh, in the winter. Okay. Yeah. That's very cool. I was having a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> so so I made this. <laughs> Look at all of this. And it's it's a huge like shed garage thing like it's absolutely ginormous. Here we are in the uh, my my small uh, winery uh, where I made my own wine. So it's all made by me. So I used to reuse the bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, all, all uh, material uh, that I'm using is made from uh, from things that uh, you will uh, find it everywhere. Uh -huh. So I uh, this press, I make I make it by my own. Oh, this uh, is what you did in the wood uh, in the wooden side. Yeah, in the wooden <laughs> side and the, and the middle <laughs> side. Look at that it's a combination. <laughs> and here you can see uh, I make a double uh, wall to keep to, the light to, out. To keep the light and to keep the the temperature. Blow, yeah, yeah. makes wow. sense. It is cooler in here. This is the glass where the jars, I put yeah. the jars where I put the wine after uh, fermentation. Uh, fermentation after fermentation and we will do it today oh yeah and this is a kind of project i'm testing uh, wine with herbs hmm. did you see yeah i can Here, see them here i have herbs lavender so lavender. blanc de blanc renforcé you know i have a lot of things so there's wine in there and the yeah. herbs as well. Okay, and here I have one of the oldest wine of of. Uh... Okay. Oh, these are the completed. Can you see? Mm-hmm. This is from you. Yeah, I made this. And this is a red. Is this your? Uh... No, it's not. not no, my he's brand. reusing the. I'm reusing the bottles. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So I made this kind of. Uh, and it was one. not uh, Chateau Kefra, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even not Chateau Kefra. You're Tsara. not. No, no. <laughs> so this is the rosé. Mm. And here I have the. Look, I want to put here. Uh, can you please uh, put uh, some? Okay. Here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. This this is the first bottle uh, you ever made. Yeah, I ever wow. made. It's uh, the last uh, first bottle that I have. It was very 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 delicious. Ah, oh, so wow. the first was, batch. Yeah. And here I have the uh, white. Where is the white? Where is the white? Here. Here? No, it's not here. It's the the other. Yeah, here. I have the white uh, wine. Mhm. Mm just a little bit or none left. I think those. Oh, oh, no, those no, in the back. Yeah. You can, you can take one of them if you want. This is the white. Shatuksara. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. It looks black without the light like that. Y you will, you will taste it today. Oh. Yeah. When I was doing this, uh, everyone was telling me you cannot do it. It's it's not easy. You don't have the bottle. We you don't, don't have the experience. Yeah. So, we so will, this is the second fermentation. Yeah, we will refill uh, this jar. 
uh, of the wine and we will put it uh, in the shade mm. uh, in the same temperature for a year or two years and then we will uh, re-put it in the bottles mm -hmm. and that's what we're gonna do right now so this is basically grape juice at this moment yeah it's not grape it's wine but okay. you have to uh, put it for two years right now in this uh, jar right now what would it taste like uh, you can uh, I will give you some and you will taste it okay I'm so curious <laughs> what does wine taste like can you smell you? yeah yeah it's wine it is wine it tastes uh, it smells sweet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it does smell like a sweeter wine mm. oh the wine is full Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so we'll remove it. Yeah. Okay. We will put a little bit. So this is not typically the wine that you would drink. <laughs> it's for you. Thank you. Okay. And that's for you, Emily. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a lot of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Is the does the alcohol get produced over time? Over the no, two no, years? No. Or the alcohol is already inside? It's already. Okay. But he's, uh, he's not uh, mature, he's, you know, he's not ready to be served. He's, oh, yeah. It's a wine. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I actually don't mind the flavor at all. Uh -huh. I actually really like it. It uh, tastes like uh, if, you ate, if you were to eat uh, a grape before it's quite ready, you know, a little bit like a, it's a bit on the sour side. Yeah, it's sour. Um, but I, I like it. It's sweet at the same time. I mean, if you don't have to wait two years, it's worth it, you know? Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, I like it. I like it too. But at the end, you will feel your tongue is... Uh, Tight, yeah. yeah. It, it doesn't have like any finishing flavors that yeah. like a mature wine would have, so, you know? Uh, Right now, or after, I will put some uh, wood mm. to give them flavors. Oh! How do you put wood in there? I will tell you. Do you smoke it in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? So. Whoa! This is boozy. <laughs> this one is alcoholic. So, and I want to tell you something that uh, when you do your own wine, every single bottle has a taste different than the other. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Not even batch, each bottle. Yes. Wow. And for free, you get the ability to taste the difference. Yeah. <laughs> so, when you want, you have a cave with 200 bottles. <laughs> you take as much as you want and you drink. <laughs> you will be happy. <laughs> After that, we will uh, taste it. All right. And we will see. Yeah, it's so brown. Mm -hmm. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, that one is also actually brown. It's, it, it's the same one? Yeah. That's why I'm telling you it's, uh, he's, it's not mature as wine. Mm. And he's not ready yet. Yeah, it's not see-through at all. Like, neither is it. This, like, I understand why. What is that now? Mm. Because of this. I don't even know what this smell is. It's Me like too. a weird smell. Mm-hmm. I like the taste though. 
it's, it's a good taste, good. yeah. Delicious. And the alcohol is uh, is very strong. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a you strong wine. Mm -hmm. Ellie, do you, can you look again at me? Wow! <laughs> yeah, look at him. He has such blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We thought we were in the Middle East. You know, you thought that there's. You know, well, I thought anyway. <laughs> I thought there were no people with blue eyes here. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like all brown eyes, <laughs> at least. And I thought there was gonna it's be camels. yeah camels. And I thought that there was gonna be desert, and and uh, but instead we're in the like the most lush place I've ever seen with blue-eyed people drinking wine. <laughs> oh yeah, also I, for, for sure there was no gonna be alcohol. <laughs> like when I first met him, I thought he was maybe like Scottish or Irish or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But no, he's, he's Lebanese. Lebanese. Yeah. <laughs> You're proud to be Lebanese. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> By the way, all of the power and all of the electricity in Eliu's home and garage and whatever else is on this property, it's all powered by... Uh, the solar panels that Eliu has on the property. So it's all solar powered. And actually it's really uh, fortunate that he has that um, independence from like needing to be on the grid, you know, the governmental grid, because I mean, Lebanon has had issues with getting electricity to all of their citizens like in the past many years. And uh, the problems are only getting larger now they're only becoming bigger because um with the financial crisis they're saying by the end of this month lebanon will no longer have um reserves of oil or gas and so there might be uh, huge power outages so elio will kind of be uh he will not feel the effects of that as much as most other people, I would say, here in Lebanon. So this is the food for the bees, for the baby bees. It's just a mix of water and sugar that he mixed in here. So how do you feed them? Uh, you will see, we will put it into uh, a plastic, you can go and see it uh, here, behind. You have a plastic jar, yeah? Mm, yeah. Bring. We will put it into this, and uh, the bees will come and eat from mm. this jar. If mm. you want, you can put your hand inside and feel it's... Uh, it's it has like ridges. Yeah. What is that for? Uh, for the bees to have a uh, to have a grip. Hang on to. Yeah. Basically. Oh, okay. Well. Mm. Emily, so what are you doing? So I'm getting into the bee suit, which is on the floor here. But first, I have to put on some long sleeve shirts and like long pants, uh, so that it's safer. Uh. Yeah. So I'm gonna go do that. All right. <laughs> it's too real. <laughs> Turn around, darling. <laughs> no, no, turn to me, turn to me. <laughs> What's it like inside? Dark. <laughs> it's just like the metal is reflecting off of the light. 
Look at that. You can't fix your hair if you want to. <laughs> oh shit. It's stuck. <laughs> so now when you're gonna be in the bees, you have to keep it like this, okay? Okay. So the bees will come here. Okay? <laughs> I see, because they can like kind of sting you through the net. They can? I mean like, yeah, like uh... a net. But that's why you keep your head in the center. Yeah, if you look all the way around, it's there's a net. All the way around that doesn't touch you. <laughs> Are you ready, Valentine? Yeah. Do you like it inside? Yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't have any hair to fix, so. Must be nice. Yeah. Ready to go! And Edu is opting for the ski suit <laughs> as his protection because he only had two B suits. Uh -huh. You know, he's a whatever works kind of guy. And I appreciate it, actually. <laughs> he's thirsty. The... Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Okay, so we're gonna feed uh, one of the bees, mm -hmm. okay, without uh, putting uh, uh, fume, it's without putting. Uh, Fumi fumigating? Fume, yeah. Mm. Without fuming, okay? It's okay. A good experience. <laughs> Babe, I'm scared. Alright. So, what's uh, the point of fumigating? What, what does he need? To, to, to get the bees out so that oh, he can like put the food down. Oh, I see. We're so, just gonna like. Put we're gonna go food. in there. So, like, little uh, background information, guys. I am deathly afraid of bees. I can't see anything, you know, from certain angles. So Elio has his bees on the roof. <laughs> um. So here I have one. It's a baby, and I have one also at the second row. This is the solar, and this is the solar heater. Oh. So this is what's powering all the electricity and uh, the water heating. Uh, this is the the water heater. Oh. Okay. okay and this is the electricity. Ah, I see. Water heater, electricity. I can hear them buzzing. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do right now, it's we will open yeah. slowly. Yeah. And you have to put... Me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You will put... Listen, come from here. You just have to be here. Carefully. Elio, will they sting me? Can you see? Yeah. We will control it like this. Okay? Right now. Like a whole bottle? Yeah. And take a look. Oh, oh. they are. So oh. cute! Why, why is there like a lump um, on the cone in that one area? What? Do you see there's like a protrusion? Yeah. They are. Uh, they are uh, doing the new uh, uh, layer. See, layer? To, to put to put the uh, honey into. It. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. they make this. You didn't what? put this in. Yep. They make this. Thing? Yes. Look. Oh, here. Wow. We have another one. Mm. How are you feeling, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> kind of scared. <laughs> oh, you have ones like attacking you. 
No, I don't know. They're like, I, I thought I saw one up close to my face. Oh, now they're coming. They're swarming. Damn. <laughs> Edu, you're a master. Edu is so tall. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. Uh, actually, actually, that wasn't that scary. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah. They're, they're just kind of everywhere. <laughs> but other than that, they're fine. So we have a second one that we're going to to feed. Roxy, stay back. Stay back, puppy. Roxy, stay back. Okay, uh, be careful. Here, uh, you have to. Okay. Go back, Roxy. You have another house? Yeah. Uh, look. Come, 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 come. You will see them here under the oh, bed. Under? The kitties? Yeah. Oh, the little kitties. Are they Bella's kitties? Yeah. That's why Bella's like, they're my kitties. Yeah. Uh, can you see one? Here? I can. Yeah. She's passing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is your architecture desk. Yeah. I feel like we're astronauts exploring In the, ocean? the lost... Okay, so this is my place. Wow, this is so nice. Oh yeah, I was wondering where you do the chilling. <laughs> Look at this view. I have a beautiful view. Yeah. So nice. This is the beast. Oh, Emily's like... Are <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at me? Yeah. You're like putting the phone on there and you're like, oh. You ready? Yes. So you chill with the bees, huh? I think, I would assume they wouldn't bother you. Okay. That sounds good. What was this? You're checking on the... Yeah, look, here you can see the pollen. The pollen? Yeah, the pollen. Oh, so, I will... So this is not <clears throat> plastic, it's... No. It's bee wax or wax. It's a wax, yeah, it's a bee wax. That's it. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> this is what? Elio? I didn't hear that. These are his grapes where he the ones that he uses for his wine. Yeah. So he has four rows of grapes. Wow. <laughs> On his roof. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy's not afraid of bees. 
I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. <laughs> so now we're gonna drive to a local pizza place to get some delicious pizza. And we've got a very special passenger, yeah. Roxy. And I will be taking us there. Wally? Yalla. 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 So you have to go straight and go back. <laughs> Should I give her a seat belt? You want a seat belt? Here's your beauty. Here's your beauty. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Oh man, who's gonna hold the pizza? <laughs> yeah, because I don't think I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> Oh. What? <laughs> Was that like a like a pizza deal? Yeah. Like out of the car, like like Go. meet me here, like. <laughs> Meet me at the gas station. I'll bring your pizza. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's terrible, yeah? This it's like, it's yeah. like a drug deal. Yeah. But with pizza. <laughs> but with <What>? pizza. <laughs> And you, is pizza illegal in Lebanon? Uh, yeah, it's somehow. <laughs> <laughs> illegal. <laughs> Look. Good, good pizza is illegal in Lebanon. Oh, shit. Oh, veggie pizza. <laughs> and this is the pepperoni. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Super perfect. Shoo, sure, Roxy. <laughs> Thank you for getting the pizza, I do. Yeah, yeah. It's a white wine. Uh, it's uh, from 2018. Oh. Okay, so you will taste the wine. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if it's a good bottle or not. <laughs> Thank you. Not bad. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, it's not bad, but All it's right, not very, very good. Let's try it. I can't wait. <laughs> Emily. Oh, it's delicious. Wow, I've never tried wine like this. Wow. What? Where's the fourth one? I hate forget. Oh, that's for you. Yeah, that's right. So big. It's really good, Elio. It's really good? Yeah, I really like it. I don't right? think it's bad or like at all. What? It's fantastic. Like, it's like incredible. Very light. Perfect. Yeah. Yalla. Yalla. Can we start? Should we take them off? Hang on, guys. And let me tell you about this really awesome mug that I just came out with. It's got this cool, unique design that I came up with myself. And it's perfect for those moments when you're filling up your mug in your office or at home from your Western style coffee maker, but your heart and soul long for a taste of that coffee brewed on the stovetop that you pour into those tiny little cups that we all know so well. Oh, sorry, I was just dreaming about that myself actually. If you'd like one for yourself, you can find the link right here or in the description below. It's a great way to remember the series when it's over, which is happening later this month, by the way. 
and also support me in the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.